I'm going to bring a quick tutorial there on how to make these pretty amazing wires there. Just using a couple of textures you can download in the description. So yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to click that. Yep, yeah. then go to File, New. I'm going to make a new document with a white background. And then when it loads, I double click that and then click OK. Just to make, unlock the layer. Then I'm going to click a new layer. I click the pen tool, click once, click twice, but then keep hold of the click and then drag it up to the top, to the top right, and just click again and hold it, and then there you go, add it there. Um, then you have to the brush effect, or well, the brush tool there, you have to select your brush, it's like the top one here, which is 19, and turn the diameter down to about, about, yeah, about 12, like, well, I just got 12, about 10. Um, then you want to make sure you select it on the layer. You know, go back to your pen tool, right click, stroke path. Make sure the settings of stroke path is brush and simulate pressure is not ticked. And then click OK. And there you go, you've got your line there. So now I'm going to right click. And go, yep, select. Um, Wait, put that, and then right click. Well, no, with a pen tool. Then I'm going to right click. And then delete path there. So now you get your wire. Right, and then there you go, you got your wire there. So now this is where the actual editing bit comes in. It's going to go to effects, stroke. And you going to have the stroke about, I don't know, about three, the passive full. Color black. Fill type, call it, click OK, that's that. So it just gives it like a little of an extension of what you'll, you can all tell the difference later on in the video. Next, um, drop shadow, then you're going to go to the opacity, turn up to full, distance, gonna keep it, I'll put it to about, yeah, about 10, 11, 10, 9, see for, and it's spread to about, yeah, about 30%. The size up to about five, and then all the settings just leave them there, no noise. You click that. The next thing we're going to do is when we're on bevel and emboss, this gives it the uh, actual realistic wire wire effect. So, yep, the depth that I'll, I'll do could ch change this opacity to full, stand out a bit more. It's that done. So, next, you're going to go into effects and then pattern overlay. Um, you can download these patterns, I'm going to put the um, link in the description to download them, but all you do is, you got, you'll have your pattern effect, it'll be a GIMP, um, a GIMP pattern file thing, whatever, yeah, just drag it into here and it'll install them, or you can click that, click this, um, click load patterns and find where you saved it, but then I'm just going to click that there, and click away, which gives you the nice effect, but it's better, turn the scale, Turn the scale down to about one, which gives it a nice carbon effect there. I'm gonna click OK, and then a little thing, well, a little touch you can do to after is color overlay. And then pick what color you want. I'm gonna go for um, a bluish, purplish color. Click OK, and turn the opacity down to about 20 30. And then, yep, change the color. I can just keep messing with the opacity. Which Adds more color and detects too. So, yeah, um, that's my tutorial. Bring you more soon. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks.